G'day everyone, Joel from Artistic Coffee Roasters here. Today we're shooting a video on brew recipes and we're using the Niche Zero Grinder. Um, we've had the Niche for about a month and a half now, um, using it in several different settings and environments and we, we, we kind of really like this little guy. If I break it down, it's a very specific grinder that suits a specific style of person. The main pros about the niche compared to other comparable grinders in its size and also price, um, it's got 64 millimeter conical burrs, which is for this size grinder, quite large burr sets. Uh, the other thing is it doesn't actually have a hopper per se that sits on top to dose the beans. You're actually weighing those beans before you grind them and putting them straight in the top and grinding per dose, let's say. This is a, what they call a straight through grinder, which means that it has basically zero or very little grind retention. Uh, Niche is saying that it holds uh, 0.2 of a gram per grinding dose. So that means that you can grind different coffee through this grinder each time without having residual left over that you have to clear out. The other thing that I like about this grinder is aesthetically it is very, very pleasing. Um, it's a beautiful little thing. We've got beautiful timber finishes. This particular version is the white version. It also comes in black. But everything about it is just ergonomically, I suppose, appealing and, and visually appealing. The other good thing about this is for a home user that it is actually quite short and operates in a low, small footprint. This means that you can have it on your bench at home and it's not taking up a huge amount of space. Other grinders that have similar burrs in it are almost twice the size. So this is a really small, compact option. The other really great thing for home use and even a little bit for, you know, uh, when, you, when you take it out of that domestic setting is the, the actual sound that it makes. This is a very, very quiet grinder. So I'm gonna switch it on now so you can have a listen. Super quiet. We could have a conversation all day while this uh, grinder is running, and it's not really affecting our conversation. So again, niche say that it's 78 decibels, which is very very quiet compared to other grinders. Another few really nice touches is the dosing pot that, that that's provided with the niche. Now this is a 58 millimeter dosing pot, so that means for a standard. Uh, handle or a uh, E61 with a 58 mil basket and porta filter is that that will fit straight in so your dose doesn't get spilt everywhere. It's a very very uh, intuitive, easy, uh, easy to operate. Um, you know, little little tool that's, that comes stock standard. I know a lot of you may have seen in our videos our little. Uh, our little plastic cheat uh, that we that we get from the supermarket. Um, obviously, the, the stainless steel version is much more. Uh, you know, it's nicer to use, and and it, it looks really good on the bench as well. Um, so the the niche will grind up to fifty grams per dose, um, which. If you're just doing single espresso grinds, is is not a problem at all. Uh, it, it does it quite adequately. One advantage uh, or one positive that I found with this grinder is the really easy to read dial on the top here. Um, we can make adjustments super quickly and super easily. So in a small cafe, I actually think this is a great little grinder because you can do your decaf, uh, offer different single origins, but also do filter coffee uh, and you know, pour overs and that sort of thing with just an easy adjustment of the collar up here and then go straight back to your espresso setting for your decaf and have beautiful fresh ground decaf for espresso or your single origins as well. So that's one thing that I really do like about this. In the same way that we use a deli grinder, this can be used to grind different grind settings very quickly, very easily, very efficiently and getting straight back to where you want to be to continue, you know, to grind for espresso or something along those lines. 
So here in Australia, the price of the niche is around $1,250. So that is really actually for what you're getting with those large burr sets and the amount of, I suppose, play features and the look of it, I believe really good value for this grinder. Now, I'm gonna talk about a few of the mm, negatives or little hang-ups that I have about this grinder. Um, one of the main things that I suppose concerns me about this grinder is that it's probably not suitable for most home users. I know my wife, for example, when she goes to make a coffee, she kind of just wants to press a button and have that dose control for her and have ground coffee on tap, if you will, very easily. Um, it is a little bit dicky, the process of actually pre-weighing your beans every single time um, and, and getting those accurate every single time out of the bag. I know myself, I'm always overfilling or underfilling when I'm when I'm pouring the beans out of the bag or even scooping them uh, to, to weigh the dose before they go in. The other thing that I want to address, I suppose, if you're looking to use it in a more commercial sense or you want to make coffee quickly, it is a very slow process. When you're weighing those beans out, it can take a lot of time. Not only that, when you're putting them into the niches uh, grinder burrs here and turning it on, that actually takes quite a long time for a 63 mil burr set to grind through. Um, we've timed this, it's somewhere between 20 and 25 seconds, depending on your grind setting, for around 20 grams of coffee, which is quite a long time. Um, some people this isn't going to be a problem for, you don't actually need to be holding the grinder while it's grinding. The other thing, and look, I suppose everyone's going to compare this to something along the lines of an EK, uh, 43 or another deli grinder, which we use in a similar way. Um, we can't grind large amounts of coffee in this grinder. As I said before, it only holds 50 grams per dose. So if you're looking to pre-ground some coffee to take with you on a camping trip, uh, to use your AeroPress or other mobile device, this really doesn't have the capability to do that well. Um, I did actually uh, time on and off how long it took to grind 250 grams at espresso. Um, it was more just for my curiosity more than anything. Uh, it actually took over three and a half minutes of grind time alone, let alone me having to redose it and, and, and change out uh, the dosing cup at the bottom, um, just of grind time. So if you're looking to grind larger doses than single espresso doses or uh, something else, then it's probably not the grinder for you. So for me, I absolutely love the niche. For me, personally, being a coffee geek, I really want to be weighing my dose every single time. I really want to have that super fine control uh, over the grind settings, and I want to have that flexibility to be able to do a filter coffee and then do an espresso coffee, because I, I do a lot of different things at home. Um, for someone who really just wants to press a button and have their dose kind of sorted, they, they're not making huge adjustments uh, on their grind setting on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you're not using different coffees and playing all the time, this probably isn't the grinder for you. Um, you won't enjoy the experience of using it if it's not something that you want to spend time doing. As far as cafe use goes, um, I'm a coffee roaster, so I'm always thinking about how things can be implemented in cafes. Although I don't think this was designed for cafe use, it's more for domestic use, it, I think it would work really well as a secondary grinder uh, that you could grind your decaf, your single origins, um, to fresh to order instead of having pre-ground or having another large expensive grinder like an EK43. Um, it, this will do a similar job on a very, very small volume and, you know, small bench space as well, which, you know, espresso bars and cafes, that really helps. The other thing that I can see as a real advantage with this is the ease of just adjusting the grind every single time, doing a pour over, going back to your espresso. For me, I really think that this is a great grinder for someone at home who really loves to play with their coffee. You have several different types of coffee and you wanna be playing all the time. You're happy to spend time when you make coffee. You don't need something quick and just super, super simple, but you're willing to spend time. If you do, I believe that you are going to get great coffee out of this grinder. 
I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions on the niche, make sure you leave me a comment below and I'll make sure that I answer that as to the best of my ability. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get updated every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching.